Welcome to Liturgy of the Word for Children. In today's Gospel, Jesus teaches his disciples about the Beatitudes. Let's light our candle to remind us that Jesus is the light of the world. Now we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach to them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for, their, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you, and ever utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. I want you to think about what makes you happy. It might be something like winning a game, or getting a gift, or having others like you. We all want to be happy. In today's Gospel, Jesus taught that it's not the outside things and events that, ha that make us happy, it's our attitudes on the inside. It is often difficult to keep a good attitude when difficult things are happening to us. Jesus knew this, and he gave us a list of eight ways to live that we call the Beatitudes. He said things like, Happy are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. And happy are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. Today is also a special day, because we celebrate the Feast of All Saints. Today we celebrate all the people who have died and are now with God in heaven. We don't know the names of all the saints, but some people lived so much like Jesus that the church says they are definitely in heaven. The saints lived the way of the Beatitudes, and we can as well. Let's pray for God's help. Dear Father, help us to have the happiness that you want for us, happiness that comes from what happens inside of us, not from what happens to us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.